Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of TerraTech. And on this episode, we are kind of continuing where we left off. I know I'm switching back and forth, but uh, I really, really had a hankering for coming on here and playing my bot that uh, we have built together. Now, there you can see right here in front of me is uh, an enemy, and he has a bot over there. In fact, you can see something floating above. I think what that is a Venture Fire uh, rifle that he has uh, floating on one of his uh, conveyor belts or something along those lines. So I think we're going to try to kill him, although we don't have any of our shields up, so this is pretty dangerous for us. I would actually prefer to kind of drive away and go get some trees. I might be able to do that if I back straight up, but I'm worried that the moment we move, he's going to come over here and attack us. So let's, let's see if we can get away, because uh, attacking that guy last time is kind of what crashed us in the first place. Now, I've been talking to a lot of people. I've been reading a lot of forums, trying to figure out what could be the cause of that. And the jury's still out. I see a lot, and I do mean a lot of people, who are having that very same issue since the last couple patches. And, of course, it uh, changed my options again for some reason on the controls. Let's do fire all weapons, insert. No, why would I want that as my insert? I've never used it that way. I don't plan to use it that way. Uh, actually, that is what I want. Let's save it that way. And why does it sound like something? There we go. But yeah, a lot of people are suffering from that crash issue. Uh, they have different graphics cards. They have different motherboards. Uh, some of them have state-of-the-art computers. Some of them do not. So yeah, that could be a thing as well. As far as the lag goes, that seems like it's very much uh, dependent on the the person's uh, you know play style. Some people go with very very small bots, and so therefore they have had no issues whatsoever. Because uh, it's only once you get to a certain size that the game kind of freaks out and says, Nope, uh, that's a little bit too much. In fact, why is it not? What is it doing in there? Is it selling the resources? No, it's, it's converting them and then turning them into fuel. Uh, it's selling some of them, though. But yeah, we didn't even get any of the shield bubble there. That's kind of weird. Maybe we might have to move some stuff around in there. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping we can just pull the stuff we need and get a little bit of experience. I should have definitely put down some of the solar reactors into my bot. In fact, you know what? I have the money. Why don't I just do that? Let's see. Where is my where is my uh, payload terminal? I actually don't see it in there. I know it is. What is this? Is this a shield generator? bubble is not powered. The bubble is powered. I don't know what it's talking about, not powered. Hmm. I know... Oh, you know what? I think I left it over here behind the wheel. Yeah, nice and safe over here behind the wheel. That way uh, it wouldn't get destroyed, just in case I needed it. So let's come in here and buy the block. We want a solar reactor and we want a wireless charger. That how That is how this works. So let's see. Wireless charger. Didn't see it there. Let's keep going down. And I did hear that if you use the GSO receiver, which is right here, the, the large one anyways, you can get the small one. But the GSO receiver will actually pick up blocks from the enemy, like the GSO blocks and the weapons and stuff. And if you put that next to a recycler, uh, it will take the pieces apart and pull them up, or the scrapper, I should say, not the, the recycler. So let's go with the generator, which is rather expensive. That's 4000 And now we need a... A wireless charger so let's go with one of those and those are kind of expensive as well four thousand wow that's that's pretty uh, severe now let's see okay we got those down so let's put our solar reactor come on let me grab it there we go and we're gonna add that to it and uh, it's gonna take a few minutes for the actually it shouldn't take that long it should already be charging up unless it's too dark out here is that the case why is it putting it down this far like I don't want it down that far there we go why is that not charging up? There we go. Okay, so it was charging. It just I wasn't close enough with my battery packs for it to reach it. And if I come in here, you can kind of see the uh, the little lines just barely in there. If I get the angle just right, you'll see that it is charging it up. There we go. You can see a little bit of red flashing down here in this little area. And basically, that will get faster and faster, not based off of how many you know solar reactors you have. But based off of how many uh, wireless chargers you have, the more wireless chargers I put down on one solar reactor, the faster this thing got charged up. I had two solar reactors that I actually combined into one, and I put a, uh, a wireless charger on each one of them, 
And it didn't seem like it did that well versus putting two of them on one and just picking the other one up. So uh, definitely a way to go about this. It does look like it is barely keeping up. Like it, I need something more if it's ever going to charge. Of course, it is charging from zero, you know, so that's something. And it's getting dark here. So what I was going to do is I was going to buy another piece, but that doesn't look like that's going to be a good idea because it's going to get dark here in just a few minutes. And once it does, this little technique is pretty much uh, worthless. Like it's not going to do you any good to be like this. So let's see, what can we do here? We need to move some of this stuff around. We really don't need three of these things. Can we take it apart? Yeah, they could take that apart, okay. Kind of hate to do it, but we can put another repair bubble over here. Let me see, what about this? Why is that not powered? It is now. We we'll put another shield generator right there. Hmm. I guess we'll go with a, another shield generator right there. And we will go with a repair bubble over here. So it's quadruply done. Look at this, man. It looks like a friggin' rainbow or something. This thing is protected up to the yin yang. And you do not have to worry about this thing ever taking any hits. Let's see, we'll take some of these weapons and put them over here on our bot. And in case you guys are thinking, like, why are you taking so much time to design your bot? Well, for one, I don't get lag when I do this. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a cheat. You know, like, I'm stalling just a little bit. Actually, that did not get did not get taken apart, huh? There we go. Now I got taken apart. It looked like it was going to the very first time, and it didn't. Ooh, man, it, it like, was smoky there. I wonder why. Okay, so let's move this over a little bit. Make sure uh, it's kind of even in the center because the center is a little vulnerable. And I know the bottom is a little vulnerable as well, so it'd be nice to have some weapons down there. I guess we can put some here and some over here because this thing will turn to a certain extent and try to fire regardless of where the enemy is. So it's better to put it down here where it can actually do some damage some of the time versus up here on the top where it's not ever going to be able to hit anybody due to uh, where it's at, you know, like what, what direction it's facing and behind other other weapons and things of that sort. So, yeah, let's put it over here. What else do we got? We got a shield generator. I think the shield bubble should stay there. We'll move this weapon out of the way. Move these over. Move this one over. I think that looks good. Only thing I would change is to move one of these over here. Now let's look at the battery pack. Has it fully charged yet? Holy crap, it's only in the yellow. It's only two little bars. That is not going to be nearly enough of the uh, the wireless charger. So we're gonna have to improve that on the next one. We're gonna have to do more, probably two or three. We only have enough cash to be able to buy one more though at the moment. So that's gonna be an issue. Let's go ahead and put this back in there. Actually, that's not far enough in. Let's close it off a little bit. We'll grab this and put that in the inside as well. Can we get it in there? Somewhere where it's not hard to get. Okay, that should be good. It's nice and protected, but not too uh, too difficult to get. And we still got a fair bit of energy here. Now, you don't want to waste it, because as long as your shields are up, you are using your energy. And the more times you take hits, obviously, uh, you know, the more energy you're going to go through. Now these little bots are so quick that if I didn't have weapons all over my entire thing, it'd be very, very difficult to destroy them. But as you can see, when they get ready to blow up, they always manage to somehow get right underneath your bot. I've had some suggestions to make a little loophole down here underneath, a little uh, a little latch where basically you can suck items up underneath your, your bots. You can just kind of run over them and recycle them or... Uh, or do things of that sort to them. It's a good idea in principle, but the thing you have to remember is that when you play this game, you don't always have the ability to do the ideal solution. Some of the times you get a lot of weapons, some of the times you don't get any. Some of the time you get uh, you know, a whole bunch of batteries right off the bat, and other times you will play the entire game and never once find a battery when you just desperately, desperately want it. And we're not quite hitting that guy, very, very close. So let's see if we can inch forward a little bit. Now we changed our elevation and that's what's doing it. Once we go over this hill, that we're gonna be way too close, I think. And now we're shooting over its head. Yeah, it's just one thing after another when we're trying to get this elevation right. Move a little closer, come on. I know you guys can do it. Let's go down a little, oh, that's a little down too much. There we go, we're hitting them. 
And when you hit them, you can see they react, like immediately reaction to, to what you're doing. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit. Oh, we're going to crash here. I just know it. Anytime we've taken on... Holy crap. No! That's when we, that's when we uh, lose our weapon, or our shields, I should say, is when it matters most. Uh, we got a little bit of power there. Holy crap, we're doing so much damage to him. But he's doing a lot to us as well. So unless we get, you know, some more power here, I don't know if we're going to win this one. Like, this this could be a difficult one to uh, to survive. There we go. Now, come on. Oh, my God. No. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Come on. Oh, my God. We're just wrecking that guy. Okay, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. But how much damage did we take? Like, that had to be something severe right there, guys. Oh my god, did he drop anything good? Let's 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 check this out before you know anything despawns here. Oh, we got another battery. We'll definitely take the battery. If we can pick it up, no. There we go. I'm getting a little bit of lag, that's why it won't let me pick it up. Didn't have any power left in it, otherwise I would immediately have gotten that upon uh, picking it up. We don't really need those. Let's see, we got another battery here. Definitely we'll take that. Let's see what else do we got. We got a couple bubbles. Uh, shield generator, I think. Yeah, I think that's a shield generator. Let's see, what is this? Uh, another shield generator. Uh, what about a repair bubble? We'll take those. You know, we really don't need these weapons anymore, these three-pound cannons, but we'll definitely take more of these because we did lose... Oh, crap. Holy crap, where did, the, where did he come from? I didn't even see him on the map. I should have been paying attention. Warning, anchor blocks are under attack. What anchor blocks? My base... My base is under attack. Oh, well. We knew that was a possibility because we've been gone for so long. No, get out of here. We're going to lose so many blocks here because we just can't repair the pieces we have. And you can see I I'm actually having pieces flash on me. So we need to find we need to find some wood to be able to charge up at least something. Because, again, you know, this would be ideal to do during the day when you can actually stop and charge up. And Because all I would need is a little bit. A little bit of power would get me all I need to repair the the pieces that are damaged or have already been damaged and that would uh, allow me to keep fighting and doing a little bit more here and there so I don't know let's let's look at our bot how much yeah see look at that we've lost what maybe one third of the weapons we had there and a lot of them over here on this side this side is still perfectly fine we did lose some of the weapons we had on the top but that's not a big deal because we had more venture fire rifles uh, than we really need uh, something happened there. It's almost like it charged up for a split second. Yeah, see? Just a split second. Let's come out here and get a little bit of wood. That's really all we need is a few seconds here and there to be able to get the, the resources uh, to be repaired. Just a tad bit. Like, that's all we need is a tad bit. And then we can go off and finish that guy. Because he, you know, was wrecked by us. He got hit quite a bit. And I just don't want to lose everything we worked for. Yeah, see? Look how damaged everything was. Dang it. And I don't want to go over there because there's another guy. Man, there's tons of guys out here. I'm surprised we haven't run into another uh, another invader, but it doesn't seem like they spawn too often. Once you've killed two or three of them, it seems like it realizes that, oh, you know, he's, he's out here for the long haul because he hasn't gone back in a while. And maybe we should maybe we should leave him alone and let him explore for a little while. And I'm, I'm kind of glad they're doing that because they didn't used to. Like, they didn't used to care, like, how long you were out here. Uh, gar you know, one of those invaders was going to spawn every, you know, 30 seconds, uh, regardless of what you were doing. But now it seems like uh, they're giving you the benefit of the doubt. Yes, kill him. Kill him. Yes, come on. Do it, do it. you got to be hitting something. I know you're hitting something. Get his will. Get his will. Come on. Get the rest of them. Get the rest of them. Oh, my God. Look how, many st how much stuff he has on the back of his bot just being uh, picked up by his uh, his uh, receivers. Like, he's just picking up all the pieces that I destroyed on the other guy, as well as some of the stuff I destroyed on his guy. And I don't think he's hitting me at all. And you can see, like, all the weapons are facing towards the front of his bot, so I'm guessing his little guy is somewhere in the front. Now, I see what I, a lot of them will do is, unfortunately, have, like, three or four cabs on their bot. Oh, there we go. Woo, baby! Holy crap. Dang, man. That that was an explosion. Okay, so let's pick up some of this stuff. Uh, I almost want to put my, my reactor down because it is getting daytime. Actually, it's probably daytime enough for it to work. 
but we're going to be moving around, so I kind of almost don't want to do that either. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, what is this? Uh, we had that before, didn't we? A GSO two-slot refinery. No, I think this is the first one that we've gotten that is a two-slot refinery. So finally, we've gotten that. Ah, okay, guys. We can, we can use that. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. Let's see. How am I going to do this? Mm, maybe if I do it... How do I do this? I need it to be able to be lifted up into the recycler here. Uh, maybe put them right next to each other and see if it will will it, will it auto pick these things up well it will hold them I don't know if it will auto pick them up what about this let's see will it work okay well it auto picks it up but it does not let's move it to the side let's let's do it over here actually let's move this on the back and let's attach that to it can we attach it Will it not even attach? That's weird. Why won't it attach to the side? Huh. What can we do to fix that? Can we attach anything to that? No, but we could attach this to that. Mm, okay, so it picked it up automatically. Look at that, guys. It picked it up automatically. Let's see if we drop this over here. Will it... No, that could actually attach. So let's drop it over here. No, it still will not recycle, I guess, because it's not close enough. Let's see, what can we put? Can we put another gray block over here, maybe, and attach it right next to it? How about now? No? It, uh, it won't work that way. So we need some kind of divider in between, uh, like the, uh, the conveyor belts or something along those lines, because this is just not working without it. Let's move these out of the way. Man, we've gotten so many of these bubbles. And I have an ex uh, obsession with just picking them up because I can't imagine leaving them behind even for a second because they, every single one of them is incredibly expensive and every single one of them makes your bot that much more difficult to kill because as long as you have those activated, there's not a whole lot they can do to destroy you. They have to get through a whole heck of a lot of your power in order to do that. And I would actually prefer to have more bubbles, or no, not more bubbles, more batteries than the bubbles themselves, uh, whether they're shield or, uh, you know, repair bubbles, simply for the fact that the more power you have, you know, you don't really need a whole bunch of, um, you know, bubbles to do it, but if something gets destroyed, it's nice to have a whole bunch of backups. So let's put this down over here, uh, and we'll keep looking around a little bit. I just want to get a little bit of power. You can, you can hear it. It's trying to kick on, but it's just not doing it. What if... I drag this and put it up here. Will it do it now? There we go. Okay, so that's working. It picks it up. How about now? Oh, we're going to have to do something to sell it. There we go. Holy crap, guys. Oh my god. This is crazy. Look at that. Okay, it's finally, it's finally getting there. Oh, it's stable. It's finally stable. Okay, let's pick this up because I don't want to sell that. I don't want to... Recycle. That's one of the only issues I could see is having it recycle things that you don't necessarily want it to. Dude, what is up with this thing? Was it not close enough? Was that was that what was going on? Okay, there we go. Now we have some power up here. We can always look at the batteries. As long as they're connected to the bot, they share the same power because the power is transferred through all your blocks here. Uh, but we're going to have to leave here in a second just to... Uh, just to check to make sure nothing else dropped and I don't want it to disappear on us. So let's let's put this away for a few seconds and uh, we will come over here and see what we can find. Ah, there we go. There's a conveyor belt right there. We'll put that on the back for later. Uh, come on, move out of the way. Now I'm pushing things aside because if you do not, uh, you'll be surprised about how often things are hiding underneath that you don't see uh, as long as there's stuff there. It's only once you start picking things up that you start seeing, oh, there's there's a whole bunch of, like this weapon right here. Uh, I would not have seen that there because it's kind of hiding underneath all the other pieces. And at the moment, I could use quite a few of those. You know, we, we lost some, and we didn't have all the ones we probably should have had in the first place. So, yeah, we... Uh, oh, there's another battery. Nice. Okay. So another battery there. Holy crap, guys. This... I played a game a long time ago where you, like, you rolled around and... 
you picked up garbage and you became bigger and bigger and bigger. This kind of reminds me of that. It kind of reminds me of doing something very specific uh, along those lines. So let's see. This will sell it for me. And then it will keep taking the things apart as long as it can. Of course, it cannot take apart the, the Geocore blocks or uh, the Venture blocks as of yet because there are no recipes for it. At some point, of course, they will add recipes for it and uh, you'll be able to uh, learn those recipes from the scrapper as well as make them yourself. A at the moment, you can't make Geocore blocks even if uh, you, know, you wanted to because, like I said, there's just no recipe for it. But they've been slowly, uh, little by little, adding uh, those recipes into the game. I know that there wasn't always recipes for all the Geo or the GSO blocks either for a long period of time there. And now the majority of them are there. The majority of them, majority of them do have recipes. So that's definitely something. I'm going to attach this real quick just because I wasn't sure if I had that already. But I wanted to make uh, absolute sure that I did. I'm moving these things around one more time before we head out to see if there's anything good here, which I don't think there is. And we need to find a way to recharge. Let's get these yellow blocks out of here that we can't do anything with. And I think it's still selling. Yeah, it's still selling. It just goes really slow because when it takes one of these things apart, it can find a lot of resources out of that. So that's that's definitely something to be aware of. And I wish... Uh, I guess, you know, what I could do is I could put this here, maybe? Because what I wish is I could not sell all these pieces. I, I, I want them to go down into the conveyor belt here, and I don't know why they're not. Because if they go into the conveyor belt, I can have them use the, the fuels, at the very least, to recharge my bot. So let's see if we can figure out how to get that to work. We're going to have to take these blocks off, get rid of this stuff. We'll move these things around. There we go. So that works out just fine. We'll take that off. Let's see, what do we need? We need the... I really wish I could just attach that right to the bot. But it doesn't seem like that wants to be a thing. How about it? Is it going to go over? I know we tried this. I'm hoping that it was just a, a bug and it's, it's just not doing it. Yeah. So let's see. What if we use... What if we move that to the side and we put this over here and then we attach that. To, oh, okay, there we go. So it should go down there. Yep, it sure is. And we can get rid of this, put this back on the top. We'll pick this back up and put this up here as well. And we'll move those because I had them right over here. No, don't fall down. Okay, so we'll move those, put those right up here. And uh, what else are we going to do? I know I want to mess around with our our uh, refinery now, the two-slot, because I've never found one of these, to be honest, uh, except for, I think, on one other playthrough, and I didn't really get to do a lot with it. So at some point, I do want to sit there and see what we can what we can craft with that. I know now that we have the scrapper, uh, it's not really that big of a thing. You can see that my power is going up because when it takes things apart that are fuel-related, they come inside here, and some of them are going into the fuel, and some of them are being turned into... Uh, you know, hard on cash. And look how much money I have already. Like, that is a lot of freaking money. And that's all because I'm recycling the parts that I get off of these giant freaking bots. So, definitely something to do there. Uh, you know what? This thing's damaged back here, and it's not getting healed. And I should be able to fix that, because I have plenty of freaking bubbles here. So, let's, let's put that back here. That should uh, repair it as soon as it's up. Let's see. We need to put a shield generator back there, too. Because why not, right? Like, if it's going to be back here, might as well be protected. Let's get rid of these Geocore ones. Let's get these out of there. Uh, we will get rid of the Venture ones as well. Oh, and we could do that as well. That's not what we wanted to do. Let's do the Undo button. I love that button. I love being... Oh, where are these things going? Why did it knock those things off of my bot? Those are shield generators. Dude, what's the issue with that? Like, <laughs> come on. It, did it always do that? Did, what, was I losing pieces before when I do that? Uh, is there a downside to doing the, uh, you know, the the rewind button on that, basically? Let's see. Can we pick these things up? There we go. It's picking up a lot of those pieces. It's really not keeping up with the amount of flow that we got going on, but, uh, you know, what could at this point with these things being 
so friggin' big. Let's see, do we have any more conveyor belts? We don't have any more conveyor belts, so I'll leave this thing right up here on the top for now. Holy crap. Holy crap. There we go. Put it back down. Yep, that's how you want to do it. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Get out of here. Oh. Hey, what happened there? I have a... I have an opening down here? So when did I have an opening down here? Did that open up? Like, pieces of my base are just falling off for no reason. Like, I knew I had an opening on one side where I have that other... Holy crap! Dude, what is wrong with that? That is... That is crazy. Like, okay, let's get rid of these Geocore ones. Come on, I keep throwing you guys down. You keep coming back like a plague or something. Okay, let's come over here and get some trees. Maybe that will help us a little bit. And again, I know I do have the uh, the shield generator down there, and the uh, the uh, you know what do you call that? The uh, holy crap! I spaced on it. What is it called? The wireless charger. There we go. Yeah, the wireless charger. I have that, so I could always use that. But I'm trying to figure out how to get around without it. Oh come on! All I did was shoot a tree down. Seriously, again. Once we get this error message, because I've gotten this on one playthrough before, where I've gotten this one this error message, and once you get this error message, it seems like that's the end of your save. Now, I know a lot of you are saying that once the new update comes out, it should fix this. I hope it does, because we get, what, like half an hour, if that, before, you know, this kind of thing pops up, and it's really not that bad. It's just kind of annoying, you know? It, and if you're in the middle of a fight, from what I've seen so far, it's actually pretty helpful in that sense, because... The fights that I've been in, where I'm getting my butt handed to me, that's when this thing pops up, and it rolls it back to, like, right before the fight, which is amazing. I don't know who decided to do that in the programming, but bravo, guys. That, that is awesome. That shows me that not only do you have the best interest of the players at heart, but you are thinking of scenarios that are going to hurt players in the rarity, but do it in such a, a huge... Uh, effect that it could ruin the game for him because if you were you know spending all this time creating a bot and then you go into a fight and you come out of that fight later on you know with everything destroyed that that's heartbreaking it's it's enough to make a person probably walk away from the game for a while if not completely games that I've played in the past like EverQuest where you could go link dead and come back and find your body you know just you're dead and now you have to run like an hour and a half to get back to your corpse it's uh, pretty rough and a lot of people don't you know, incredibly enjoy that aspect. So on this one, for them to go that extra mile and say, we'll just roll you back, it may seem like a cheat, uh, cheat to some people, but for us, uh, not so much, you know? And, uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely appreciate that if you guys ever watch. Uh, again, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here because of this, but we did get pretty far. We got a few new items. We got a whole bunch more batteries and repair bubbles and things of that sort. And if you think I have too many now, think again when I expand this spot to be three or four or five times the size of it is right now. I'm going to need a lot more of those bubbles to to uh, cover that amount of, uh, you know, area. And so these these bubbles will be used at some point. And I don't want to pay three or four thousand, you know, credits for each one of them down the road when I really want them because they don't take up a lot of space. And they're very useful even when you don't need a whole bunch of them. So I can guys uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Make sure to leave those comments down below because I do love hearing back from you guys. And I will catch you next time.